in the world of boxing, there are good guys and some bad guys. And if you will think about good guys, surely one of them is Manny Pacquiao. Manny is well loved and respected by most boxing fans around the world, not just because of his crowd pleasing performances during his fights, but his attitude before, during, and after his fights. Whatever, whatever happened, you know, we act like a, a professional here, professional gentleman, and and but in the ring, uh, we have to do our job as a boxer. During his pre-fight interviews and face-offs, you won't see him talk trash nor insult his opponents. Instead, you will see him smile or make the audience laugh with his humors. In the second part of Manny Pacquiao against Kaki opponents, I featured his two latest antagonists, Adrian Brunner and Keith Turman. First is Adrian Brunner, who is known for his over-the-top antics, both in and out of the ring. Brunner held multiple world championships in four weight classes, including the WBO Junior Lightweight title, WBC Lightweight title, WBA Welterweight title, and WBA Light Welterweight title from 2011 to 2016. He is a good fighter, but as his popularity increases, he started to become disrespectful, offensive, and arrogant. He will always be remembered in his first loss against Marcos Maidana. He's gonna have to get active. Here are some of his trust talks against Pacquiao. I don't give a fuck. I don't care that he's fight. an eight-time world champion and all them weight classes and shit. I don't care about none of that. But to tell the truth, though, um, I just don't see Manny Pacquiao beating me. And um, before he beat me, he got a better chance of becoming a uh, driving instructor. <laughs> I'm going to be victorious. And I know they got plans. But I'm coming to let y'all know I'm fucking them plans. Three matches up. and fleet got to get past me first, big feet, motherfucker. Gee. Do you feel like they're underestimating you? Pacquiao huh? will be defending his WBA welterweight title he obtained against Lucas Matisse of Argentina last 2018. Manny Pacquiao was 60 wins and 7 losses during his fight, while Brunner was 33 and 3. Their fight happened last January 19, 2019. Let us enjoy their highlights. The fact of the matter is, is that the heat will always incise foot, but that happens. Always, Manny Pacquiao came to pay respect to his opponent. And still, WBA welterweight champion of the world. What do you think about the fight? What you? I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. 
as expected, Manny Pacquiao won the fight convincingly, but AB refused to believe it. Next opponent is Kit One Time Turman. After his hard-earned win against tough journeyman Josecito Lopez, Turman called out Manny Pacquiao. That was a beautiful fight. I would love to have that. Bring it in the ring. Maybe Brooklyn, maybe Vegas, wherever Manny Pacquiao wants it. I'd fight him in the Philippines if he I had to, baby. the interim WBA welterweight champion by defeating Diego Chavez. And in 2017, he captured the WBC welterweight title and WBA super welterweight title against Danny Garcia via split decision. Before their fight, Keith threw many insults and trust talks against Manny Pacquiao. Here are this little some bunny of them. rabbit, the way he hops around in the ring. The I'm not going to lose to no bunny rabbit. Believe that, okay? And we all love him. We respect him. And I'm respectfully going to kick the shit out. He ain't going to do nothing with them low T-Rex arms. He's about to get, you know, beat up. I get to punch a senator in the face. Manny will mark me. Man, he's two feet tall, boy. He's going to hip hop and you don't stop until he gets dropped. So I'll let you know he's getting crucified. This fight was Manny Pacquiao's second fight in 2019. I can't wait to punch you. Me too. Manny Pacquiao is the regular WBA welterweight champion against the young and undefeated super welterweight champion of WBA. Most of the trash talk came from Keith Thurman in the weeks leading up to this bout. Pacquiao said, I'm motivated the more he talks, I want to prove something to him. Manny Pacquiao. Oh, down oh. goes Thurman! And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. And Manny Pacquiao moved in with his legs and his hands. That's where he does it best. He look. He's looking at that. He's going to think that Pacquiao. Punching in accuracy. Not do that occasionally. He's got to do it most of the round. Let's check in with Heidi Andro. Heidi. Thank you very much. He's winning this round, Thurman, right now. Even though man is never going to stop. Right by Pacquiao catches Thurman. Pacquiao again, the aggressor. And he saw right away that Manny is, he's a freak of nature at age 40 to be this quick. And this is still powerful for Pacquiao. That's, that's, that's scary right there. Yeah, he got me. Oh, good right up. See? Looking out his right hand. That always precedes, and, and oh boy, there's a headbutt. You did that. Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's got Thurman on the run. More effective punches. Able to do it. Oh. And as expected again, Manny Pacquiao became the WBA Super Welterweight Champion and gave Keith Thurman his first loss in his boxing career. Manny Pacquiao at age 40 showed that age is just a number. He dominated and humbled two young khaki Manny Pacquiao champions. is a truly great, great, legendary champion. Thank you everybody. Thank you Manny Pacquiao. Your brother, he got his ass cooked. He got cooked. Asian, you didn't go down like that, huh? He got cooked. Asian, are you impressed with Pacquiao? Huh? Were you impressed with Pacquiao? Of course I was. Uh, uh, you could tell he trained hard for this fight. He was serious. And, um, I'm happy and that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my The Boxing Highlights channel for more videos. Thank you very much.